Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. Today I want to talk with you about how you can leverage the adaptive card technologies in your custom developed solutions. The adaptive cards are a technology by Microsoft which allow us to create really effective and user-friendly UI components and elements which can be made of content and actions and which are based on a JSON reference schema. With an adaptive card, we can create the content of a message sent by a bot in Microsoft Teams, for example, or the content of a message sent by a Microsoft 365 connector or a message in a Teams chat, as well as the content of a SharePoint framework a component or web part, or the content of a message that we send through email. Like, for example, a message with some actions to execute, which will be part of a flow defined in Power Automate, just to make a few examples. Today, I want to explain you how you can use the adaptive cart to render the UI of a SharePoint framework web part. And we will use an SDK, the adaptive cart SDK, which is available as an NPM package. And we will see that we can also subscribe to events in order to handle the actions defined in an adaptive card using TypeScript code like we do for events in any other React component that we have in the UI of our SharePoint framework web part and component. So, let me move to the new environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. In order to work with the adaptive cards, first of all, you should go to the adaptive card.io website provided by Microsoft, where you can find a definition of what adaptive cards are. You can find a reference to the official documentation as well as to the Schema Explorer to better understand how the JSON schema works. You will have access to some samples and some blog posts as well as to the uh, designer that we can use to design adaptive cards using a web-based uh, UI uh, to design them. Just to give uh, an eye to the uh, documentation, we can see that we have a reference tool of the SDK is provided. And in order to render adaptive cards, we can use the JavaScript SDK, which is exactly the one I'm going to use in the demo that I'm going to show you. In the designer, you can see an out-of-the-box, ready-to-go, uh, pre-designed card which will be provided as a sample, but of course you can use this designer to render your own JSON content here, and you can use the web-based designer, and you can leverage all of the elements, meaning the containers, the actual content elements like text block, rich text blocks, image, media, and action set, as well as the inputs if you want to collect the data from the user. And the user can then use actions like these buttons to provide feedback back to your own uh, service. Through this designer, you can also see what the outline of your card is using this uh, tree view, as well as you can play with sample data that you can bind to the actual JSON content uh, defined in the adaptive card. So, for example, if I click on preview mode, we can see here the output of the card uh, that we see in the definition right here in the JSON. Now, we can also play, of course, with the custom card that we can define. Uh, and just to make an example, here I have a JSON file which defines a sample adaptive card that I'm going to use in my demo. So if I switch back to the uh, adaptive card designer and I will use the JSON of this card, we can see that we have the image of uh, our PMP Parker as well as a couple of actions, uh, one to send data and one to go to the PMP site. And as you can see, the actions will be of type action.submit or action.open URL. And I will have to provide the URL that I want to open by clicking on the action.open URL action that I have in my adaptive card. So let's imagine that we want to use this card as the content of a SharePoint framework web part. So first of all, let me show you the output in the workbench. So I can add my web part, adaptive uh, render adaptive card. I can click on this uh, button to configure my web part and I can browse for a file. And of course it will be the JSON file that I just showed you, so this one. I can open the file and we can see the output uh, rendered in the UI of the SharePoint framework web part. We can send data and using types we can intercept the action of sending data as well as we can open a URL in a different tab by handling the uh, click event of the go to PMP uh, uh, action that we have in our um, adaptive card. So how can we do that in SharePoint framework? First of all, I included a reference to adaptive card SDK using NPM in my solution. Then we have a really common SharePoint framework web part based on a React component. And in fact, in our React component, we'll simply render the uh, web part uh, using an external React component, which is this one, the render adaptive card.psx. And in this component, we simply use the uh, uh, 
uh, SDK to load the JSON content from a file stored in SharePoint Online. It doesn't really matter how we load the JSON file from SharePoint. Uh, this is a topic related to PMPJS, and I don't want to dig into that one right now. But I'm using the SDK of the adaptive card, and I simply create a new adaptive card object in the adaptive card namespace. Then I configure the adaptive card to support such kind of uh, uh, settings and functionalities that I can configure using uh, this uh, object to uh, set up my hosting environment for my adaptive card. And then I can simply say, okay, whenever there will be the execution of an action, please rely on this handle card actions method that I have in my uh, TypeScript code. Then I parse the content of the card that I loaded from the JSON file in my SharePoint Online document library, and I say render to the adaptive card so that the render card will become the content that will simply happen to a div element that I have in the output content of my React component. And as such, in the content, I will render the actual UI of my adaptive card. The handle card actions method is just a method which will get an action as an input argument, and in the action we have a property bag where we can see the type of the action. So we can define if the action is a submit action or an open URL action or whatever else, and based on the properties of the action, we can execute and we can handle the requested action requested by the user. So, really simple and straightforward, but the overall solution is quite nice because you can leverage the adaptive cards in the UI of your SharePoint framework web part, and you can also eventually use input fields to collect information from the user using the already provided UI of adaptive cards provided by Microsoft with the whole set of capabilities of the adaptive card. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me wish you a very Merry Christmas. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.